Okay, so let's create a Spotify connection here. So we're going to copy, yeah, let's copy this wonder list. Okay. Copy. Where is it? There it is. Spotify. So then just get playlists. Spotify. Okay. Spotify, we're going to open scene. Let's rename this guy to Spotify. Um, we're going to remove this script. And we're going to, let's first, eh, let's first edit this guy. Call this Spotify. And let's get our client. Uh, actually, let's copy over our redirector. Where's our redirector? Okay, where's this? Bundle, no, no, no. Okay. Let's copy over a client ID. Client secret. Okay, now we need to intercept all the calls we're going to make to Spotify. So let's go into the documentation. <clears throat> and we're going to use, we're going to use the authorization code flow. So we're going to, here's our authorize endpoint. And let's find our token endpoint. Uh, uh, there's our token on point. Yeah. Um, authorization response type code. Let's see. Okay, code. We got the redirect UI, got the state. Scope is optional. Let's leave that alone for now. Uh, show we're not forced to approve app again if we're done so we can leave that alone um, Okay, it does it does a uh, refresh tokens. That's good because when our token expires the first one that we get um, It should be able to refresh the token on its own without prompting the uh, user again to authorize okay mm, what else all oh, right okay so let's try working with playlists let's see playlist system <clears throat> reading a playlist Get a list of users' playlists. Let's try that first. All right, so we're going to intercept all the calls made to this URL. So let's leave the scopes alone. This should be okay. This should be okay. Um, we're going to authorize probably on a 401 unauthorized. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's save that. And now let's edit this uh, playlist model and uh, HTTP operation that we're going to need to create for every API call, right? So if we're retrieving playlists, we need a class for that. If we're going to retrieve a specific playlist, we're going to need a class for that. Um, this makes it a lot easier to maintain, though. So here, let's set a TTT, Wonderless, Spotify, Spotify. Okay, so let's get playlists, Spotify. Ooh, probably not gonna need this. 
this. So our base URL is going to be version one of the API. And you can see from basically from, from API to API, it's really copy and paste. Um, it's where it gets different is of course where um, we're going to need to make the requests. So this is going to be get playlists, get playlists, get playlists, get playlists. That's right, playlists. So what we're creating here is the uh, model behavior that is going to call invoke our API, our get playlists or with operation, <clears throat> and um, when the oper when the HTTP call starts, we're going to get this callback. When it succeeds, we're going to get this callback. When it fails, we're going to get this. When it completes, we're going to get this. Right. So it's kind of like a um, JavaScript AJAX type operation. Okay, we're gonna, now here is the uh, actual operation, playlists, and we're gonna leave this alone for now. We're just going after retrieving the raw JSON that comes back, making sure it works, and once it works, then we can create our models uh, to actually turn the JSON into something usable, into an instance of a class usable within Unity. Spotify, okay, users, user ID playlists. All right, U users, user ID playlists. We're going to, the OF is going to go in the header. We're going to, this is going to be a uh, is it going to go in the header? Yeah, it's going to go in the header. Um, I, I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, we're going to skip. We don't need this. HTTP header. Got this. We're going to use the Unity web request by default. <clears throat> Content.json. Let me uh, look at real quick. Uh, which one can I look at? Let's look at... Um, Bundle, bundle, okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh -huh, authorization, All right, okay. So let's copy this one. It's just a Wonderlist has their own little fancy um, OF implementation, but we're gonna, looks like Spotify adheres to the basics. Okay, okay, now we need to know our user ID. Um, what is my user ID? Uh, Spotify user ID, unique string. You can find at the end of the Spotify URI for the user. The ID can be obtained via the web API. Well, yeah, I understand that, but um, fine. No points, okay. What's, what's my user? Me, right? Um, Okay, so you might 434 bid in. That's good to know. Might actually not. Um, the operations might fail with a 403 instead of 401, so we know when to kick in our OF flows. Uh, try it. Please. Okay, let's get token. Uh, sure. Actually, let's leave the scopes alone. See what happens. I accept, of course. And is this my user ID? Okay. And try it. Okay, invalid access token. Wow. Get token. Private. Sure. Um, request token. Okay. Try it. <coughs> okay. What? Get token. User library read, user top read, user follow read. OK. 
Okay, it goes token. Oh, come on. All right, so obviously their console, I can't get it to work. Anyway, um, so for user ID, you know, let's pretend that was my user ID that I found. So what we're going to want to do is, it, this way, um, we can tokenize the URI. So all we need to do is add a dollar sign. And we're going to public string user ID is equal to, and we're going to tell the operation that this is going to be a HTTP URI segment, um, and it is. Um, expression right okay and for expression I forgot we have to okay just that okay cool user ID so this is gonna go in the user ID or I segment and it, you know the user ID is gonna have to be retrieved once we have a token we're gonna have to make a call to uh, the me the user is me endpoint and that's most likely going to return our user ID that we can then use uh, to retrieve the playlist let's just see if this works Okay, let's let it rebuild. My pipe, all right. Already contain, okay, good. No errors, no errors, cool. All right, so then we're gonna drag our get playlists guy here and when placed when we're gonna start we're going to let's leave this for unauthorized it's going to start the script and let's see what happens save the scene let's see where it craps out okay oh no we're okay great um okay yes that's what we want to do exactly all right cool so now we got an OF token now when we return back to unity that's when unity is going to go and query our redirect URI server because now the token is stored there temporarily until we retrieve it and let's see what happens okay um, so we got our playlist right for our user completed that's good and let's see what uh, the return is here all right cool so yeah I don't have any playlists um, that is good. We got a successful request, successful response, and I can show you how this succeeded. Uh, and let me show you how it aired out first. So first, we made the same request, and it aired out, right? And the reason it aired out because it was unauthorized. So, and we get the details in here, right? No token provided, of course. So that failed. Now, what happens next is, let me show you, oh, here. Okay, so the, it says, tells us that operation failed and it's being added to the failed queue. So then what happens is the OF interceptor takes over. It registers with our redirect URI that, hey, we're going to make a call to Spotify, so be expecting a, um, a call from Sp a redirect you know, and what the redirect server is going to do is exchange the authorization code for the access token. And now we're going to make a request, okay, to register the state with our server. Um, that was successful. Now we're going to um, open the browser on the device. So if it's an iPhone, it's going to open up Safari. If it's a uh, PC or Mac, it's going to open up the default browser, right? And make that call to authorize the user or authorize the application on behalf of the user. Then when that authorization completes successfully or not, we're going to return back to Unity. And we're gonna, you, what Unity is going to do is go in our redirect URI server and retrieve the access token that's stored there.
And I could show you that as well. Um, here we go. Here's the response from our redirect URI server with the access token. Um, see it expires in 3600 seconds. There's a refresh token as well and no scope, right? So we might need some scopes for, for different operations against Spotify, but I don't know what those are yet. It's kind of a trial and error kind of thing. Now, when we make a request to playlists, it is going to fill all the information that it needs. See, it's heading, it's setting a uh, the authorization header here. And that's that's really it, right? We're going after, we want to make sure that we have that access token in our request, which is then successful. And that is it really for setting up any API. Um, uh, let me show you, so that works. Let me show you, <clears throat> right, so we got this response. Now, what do we do with this response? Well, let me show you an example maybe. Uh, what's a good example? Let's see if I have any examples. That's a random user, right? That's a uh, another API out there. So the model, let me show you the operation. Kind of same thing, right? We we're telling, hey, we we want to go after this endpoint, and when we get it back, we're going to mark this uh, response of results type with a HTTP response JSON body and it's gonna know to that based on what the response that we get we're going to shove that JSON we're gonna deserialize that JSON and shove it into an instance of the results type and there's a way to handle uh, errors as well right sometimes APIs will return different representations based on if it's successful or not. There's a way to handle that as well, but let me show you a model. So a model is basically the, like in C-sharp or, or any other programming language, we're going to be modeling um, the classes based on the return JSON so that then a serializer like Newtonsoft JSON or Unity's built-in JSON or LitJSON, which I still prefer using over Unity's JSON, will be able to serialize and deserialize either into requests or responses. So that is really it for creating any kind of API with our uh, tools.